Hey everyone, this is Charlie with GNG Army and here at IWA 2018 with Popular Airsoft looking at the new products coming out from us this year. Uh, we're going to be starting with our new rifles here on the very top. We have the TR-16-308 WH. That's going to be included with the G2 uh, gearbox that we're coming out later on. Uh, this is already available in selected markets. Uh, moving down, we have the 556, which is our uh, N4 uh, magazine variant of the uh, G2 technology. Uh, high-end Proline series and then moving down we have the new uh, sequence position uh, this is in collaboration with EMG and also it's going to feature the new G2 technology that we have there and moving on to the second row we have the ARP9 Black Orchard which is a limited edition so if you see in your stores definitely pick it up right away because once it's gone it's gone so for those collectors that want a nice signature piece from G&G this is probably going to be the one that you want uh, moving down, we have the ARP-9 Battleship Gray, similar to the ARP-9 Black, but just in a different color scheme. Moving down, uh, the Raider 2.0, uh, we have Black and the Desert Tan. Uh, so these are going to be having a 6.04 Tybo barrel, a pre saw MOSFET, and a um, rotary hop-up as well, too, in there. And uh, down here, we have the 7-inch uh, length of the license, uh, fully licensed Knight's Armament Rifle. Along on top, we have the mid-link mid length here and then the, the 12 inch length uh, which uh, will have the G2 technology inside as well too and then uh, moving to the uh, last ones we have the Raider 2.0 long these will have the ETU and pre-installed pre MOSFET with a three round burst and then down here we have the upgraded L85 with the ETU so those are the kind of new guns that you can expect from G&G and now we're going to be taking a look at some of our pistols and other accessories coming out so as you saw some of the rifles are going to have M-Lock uh, compatible rail system so you're probably going to wonder what can you do to accessorize them we have the m-lock foregrip here uh, in the battleship gray color we also have m-lock panels uh, to fill in that little gap if you just want to kind of cover that hole up and then we also have a m-lock to picatinny rail converter so if you have a picatinny flash eye laser you're able to mount this on the m-lock and still use your picatinny and uh, or laser for that um, so last year we partnered up with Mechanics, came out with this new G&G Mechanics Club. Uh, we took a lot of feedback from uh, our customers and uh, dealers saying that they wanted something a little bit more padded. And so now we came out with this new Impact Glove from Mechanics. So this is going to have uh, a little texturized uh, padding on the, on the knuckles. So that way you're able to kind of, uh, the contours to your knuckles feels a little bit more comfortable. We also have added padding on the fingertips. Um, along with the fingers, so that way if you get nicked right on while you're shooting, it's not going to hurt it as bad. Uh, looking on the other side, we have double stitching padding here, so it's going to be good quality. It's not going to deteriorate over usage or anything, so really good stuff coming out. This should be available now, so make sure you check out your local dealer for availability and pricing for that. So now we're going to be taking a look at our new pistol line. Uh, last year we came out with the GPM-92, which you see here, but in black color. We're coming out with a desert tan color. And on the back side, we have an OD green color for that GPM-92. We're also coming out with the GPM-9 MK3. And one of my favorites is the GTP-9. And the reason being is that uh, there's a little tool right here. You press a little button, a little tool comes out, and you're able to adjust the hop-up cording to get back in the fight rather than removing the whole slide from the very top. So a very cool feature for that pistol. And moving down, we have our 1911 series. We just have a kind of a competition style one and then just a traditional 1911 with the wood finish. And all these pistols will include our gas filter system also with the whirl valve and it comes with the pistol hard case as well too. Now moving back, back here, which is our LMGs, we're gonna offer these in tan and black. Uh, pretty much everything you see here comes with the gun. So you're gonna get the 2500 round box mag, the uh, bipod here in the very front. Uh, uses a standard uh, M4 receiver, so you can e uh, even put your M4 magazines in there if you want to, or a drum mag if you want. If you don't want to use the box mag, uh, and uh, it's also going to have a pre-installed MOSFET electronic trigger in it, which is programmable for a three-round burst. A key feature for this LMG is that you're able to put it in semi, so it's great for players that are outdoors doing full auto and then they want to go inside a, uh, a building or a uh, container and you're able to engage with the enemies with the semi only and then go back outside and use that full auto to kind of suppress and uh, help your friends out in the fight. Um, this will be probably available later on this year, no pricing or, or ETA just yet, but make sure to look around summertime or fall. All right, <clears throat> now we're going to be taking a look at a CMC9. Uh, this uses our GTP-9 pistol that you saw earlier. Uh, so you take off the slide and you're able to put it inside this conversion kit. And this actually allow, allows you to have a longer barrel. So it gives you a better perform, performance and accuracy out, out of it. Um, it also comes with a collapsible stock. So you 
can even make it even more compact and more CQB friendly for those people that want a, an extra sidearm or just a nice backup gun that you could put on the back of your uh, uh, backpack or things like that. It has ambidextrous charging uh, handles, so for left hand players, you're accommodated in that aspect. And also, it's going to come with a full metal rail with the polymer receiver as well, too. Moving down, we have the anticipated Lee infield that we're coming out with. It's going to we have two variants we have the sniper and just a standard rifle down here. Uh, the sniper version is going to have the it's come, it's going to come with the scope mount uh, and the rings. Fortunately, it's not going to come with the scope, but you can definitely find out a military surplus if you really want to get that sniper uh, scope there. Um, and then for the rifle, a uh, key feature about this is that when you pull the bolt, you're able to actually put the, mat, uh, the, the bullets here um, and load them on the top, or you can do it traditionally underneath and uh, lock and load. And also the magazine, the little clip will kind of halfway come up um, to prevent the bolt from going forward, and then you're able to reload once again. So uh, we don't have any pricing or ETA on these uh, the infills just yet. These are just prototypes at the moment, but hopefully we can uh, get something out later on this year towards a Q4. Hi, this is Alex from uh, Polar Star Airsoft uh, here at the Iwa Show 2018. Today I've got the F2 offset. Uh, we are scheduled to launch this mid-April. Uh, you're finally going to be able to get to use your M14s, your P90s, your SVDs, and the like in closed bolt HPA fashion. We're super excited for this. The uh, F2 has proven really accurate, really reliable, and really just a joy to use. So we're excited for that product. Uh, we've also got our tiny regulator, our Mr. Regulator, mini regulator. Um, it's got the same functionality as the MRS, where in that it has a tournament lock with a zip tie. Slide the, slide the uh, sleeve up, put a zip tie around it, can't adjust it. It's adjusted with a knob at the top, really easy to do on the fly has the same refresh rate as our other regulator, and it should be coming in cheaper too. So look for this uh, late fall, maybe winter this year. And uh, most importantly, we've got the PR15 Pro. Uh, this is something that we worked on for a really long time, uh, put a heart and soul into it. Uh, we're really excited for it because it's gonna be able to bring you the Polar Star performance throughout. Uh, we have in front of the manufacturing process with the lower, the upper, the engine, the hop-up, uh, and the tank and regulator system. Uh, it's a full gun by us. The first time we've manufactured every part of the machine. Uh, it's going to be uh, probably around twelve to $1,500 depending on the package you choose, whether it's a jack, an F2, uh, whether you get a conversion kit from a PTW, um, or if you, you know, get Magpul furniture, M-Lock rails, and the like. Uh, look for this, hopefully late fall, winter this year. Uh, it is also compatible with uh, all PTW hop-ups and magazines. Uh, this little 4,500 PSI tank shoots about 350 shots at one and a half joules using two 8 gram BBs. You're also able to get it with the line out of the grip. All guns will be capable of both. You'll just require some hardware to switch over. Um, yeah, and that's all for EWA 2018.